So today's video is slightly different to our normal videos in the fact that for the first time in, in nearly a year, we're actually filming here in our showroom. Um, and the reason for that is because we have just had installed our burnout kitchen display. Um, burnout are a German manufacturer who are new to the UK in 2022. Today, I am going to be talking you through this display and all of the burnout kitchens in general, showing you what they've got to offer you. As I mentioned before, Burnout are a German manufacturer who are new to the UK in 2022. Um, so they are really high end. They focused on quality uh, for their kitchens and all of their products. Everything about these kitchens screams quality. They're really, really well built, well designed and well manufactured. Um, so I guess the easiest way to tell you about uh, these kitchens and, and talk you through it is to start with um, with their configurator. So now the burnout configurator is one of the best tools that they have to use when designing um, a, an outdoor kitchen. So th the easiest thing for me to do is if I if you're watching this and you're interested um, would be to go on to the burnout website. So I'll leave a link to it uh, down below. Um, so I think it's burnout.kitchen.co.uk. So what will happen once you go onto their website and go on there, um, you will have the option in the bottom right hand corner that will say go to the configurator. Now the configurator is a bit of software that they have on there, which allows you to design your outdoor kitchen. Um, you can you can add any parts to it you want. You can lay it out in any layout that you like. It's really, really good. Uh, and it's a really, really useful tool as well, um, especially like for us, you know, to get an idea of what you want as well. Um, so you would start by going onto the configurator. Um, and so you click on that. And the first option that you are given is whether to go for the burnout range or the lux range. Now the lux range are a completely different range that they do. They're just slightly different colors, slightly different design. Um, but for this video, we're just gonna focus on the burnout range because that's what we've got here and that's what I'm gonna talk you through. Right, so you've now um, chosen the burnout range and you'll go through into the, the next page on there. Uh, you will then, you're then given options for colors. So there are three different colors that you can choose from. You have a dark oak, an oak, and a smoke. So this color that you've got, you can see on here, this is their oak color. This color here, this is their dark oak color. And this one over here is the smoke color. It's like a gray, almost like a leathery effect. Um, and what that refers to are the colors of your doors and your drawers it also refers to the color of the worktops if you decide to have the composite worktops. I'll talk about those in a little while. Um, but yeah, so the first thing to do is choose the color that you want for your kitchen to be. Once you've chosen that, the second one option is to choose what worktop you want. So as I mentioned just now, you can either have a composite worktop which is made of the same material as the doors and drawers and it'll be color matched to them so it'll all look the same, the same as we've got here. Your next option is to choose a granite. So they co this comes with a 20 mil dark granite. This is called an absolute Nero. And the reason they've chosen this is because this is the most hard wearing um, and solid granite on the market. Um, this is, it's called honed. So it's got like a matte finish as well. You can, if you wanted to, if you really didn't like any of these colors, you would, you would buy the kitchen with the composite worktops, you would then take those off, get rid of them, and you could put your own worktops on there if you wanted to. I mean, another benefit of doing that would be that you wouldn't have any of joins 
in any of the um, units. So as it is at the minute, every single unit has its own individual piece of um, worktop, but you could get rid of these and have one seamless piece of granite or decton or whatever straight over the top. So the next um, option you get is your frames. So you have three choices there. The first is the stainless steel framing. So this is the stainless steel framing that you can see here. It's like a brushed stainless steel and that's the standard. Uh, your next option is to have a black uh, powder coated stainless steel. So it's still stainless steel, but it's been powder coated black like that. And then the last option is to have a powder coated stainless steel. So it's still that stainless steel look, but it's like an extra coating of protection. Um, all of the steel is 304 stainless steel. Um, so it's one grade down from marine grade. Um, so there isn't really a reason why you would have it powder coated stainless steel unless you were living right on the seafront or on the beach or something like that you may want it for you know added peace of mind um, so once you've chosen your frames you then get to choose the depth of your units now the standard units are 600 mil deep which is is plenty for for any kitchen normally with a Kamado oven when you've got these um, caps on the top you may want to think about having a unit that is 750 mil wide deep sorry because when you open it like this if it's up against a wall as it gets to the very point of its um, of its opening that will touch on the back if you had a 750 mil deep unit it wouldn't happen um, and there's very little cost difference between having a 750 mil deep unit and a 600 mil um, deep one. Um, your next option is to have them either with feet or with rollers. Um, so you can see on here, we've got feet, all of the feet are adjustable. So if your patio, your decking is slightly out of level, you can adjust it so it is, it's dead on level. Um, or you can have these rollers. So if you wanted, for example, to have, um, you could have an island. Um, a little island section with maybe a fridge in there or a pizza oven on it and you can actually wheel that around if you wanted to um, so that's a really really good option there's not a lot of kitchens out there that have that option um, and then the last um, option that you have on that page is lighting you'll see um, four arrows you know up down left and right and they signify the bottom one is lighting that is underneath the kitchen um, and that will run all the way along the two sides obviously relate to the two sides and the back one is lighting on the back of the unit. So all of the lighting is on the underside and the arrows just relate to whereabouts on the kitchen it is. So once you've done that, you go through into the next page and the first uh, thing that you'll see is you'll see like a little cross, a little red cross on there. You click on that and then look slightly below that. And the first thing that you'll want to choose is your grill or your oven um, that you're gonna have in your kitchen. So with uh, Burnout, they've really thought well about what uh, appliances you can have in there. So you can literally have any appliance that's available in the UK integrated into your kitchen. So you know, to start with the Kamado ovens, you can have uh, the Monolith, you can have a Kamado Joe in there, you can have a green egg in there. Um, they've got these incredible um, Kamado units that are stainless steel. Um, they've got a drawer underneath as well um, to keep all your accessories and things like that in there. You can have the classic size, you can have the extra large size. So that's really good. If you haven't got a Kamado or you don't want a Kamado, you can either have a, a Napoleon, a Beef Eater, a Broil King, uh, Fire Magic grills, all of those are gas grills. Um, the four burners, the five burners, the three burners. Um, they do also have another barbecue called a, a Flamcraft, I think. It's a German one that's just come out. It's not available in the UK yet, but it is a thing of beauty and they will soon be bringing them over here so you can have those in there. Um, so that's your, your, your appliance or your grill involved in it. Um, the next thing, you can also have side burners um, as part of it. Um, I think they have like an induction hob as well, you know, like one of those glass um, induction hobs that you can have to the side of it as well. Um, this also, while I'm here, is, uh, this is called a, uh, a tray something, but this is basically a heat proof stainless steel tray that will go onto the side. So if you're bringing 
hot coals or hot items, pans, pots, straight from the oven or your barbecue, you could put it straight on there. It's not gonna affect your, your worktops if you've got the composite ones. Obviously, if you've got granite, it doesn't matter. You can put it straight on there. So your next options are to choose what units you want. If you go for a gas grill, it'll automatically ask you to choose a 600 mil wide unit next to it, and that will be to house your gas tank. Um, so you've got, I think, four different options. You've got 300 mil wide units, 600 mil, 900 mil, or 1200 mil units to choose from. Um, each one has different functions. So for example, you can have um, drawers like this. So a triple drawer um, like this. This has got a cutlery insert in there. All of the drawers are soft close. They feel really, really nice, really good quality. You've got two pan drawers underneath there. It's also worth mentioning as well and talking about this is that even if you had this as a single door or some double doors, for example, they would still have these lines going through them. And they've done that so that when you have your kitchen laid out, these lines run all the way around the kitchen. So if this was a door, it would open up, it'll have a whole stainless steel frame on the back, but these three sections, so it looks like it's a drawer system. Uh, so available also are uh, waste drawers as well, so you can pull those out. Um, I think there's also an option as well where you can have a cutout in the top and if you know, for example, if you've got a chopping board next to it, you can be chopping your, your veggies, the waste can all go straight through the hole into the waste bin below. Um, they have corner units as well. So if you are going to have an L shape or a U shape, you've got cor corner units that can go in there. Um, they have sink units as well. That, so that it comes with a stainless steel integrated sink and tap. They also have a, it's like a glass, um, almost like a, a, a fire pit, if you like, um, but it's like a four-sided glass rectangle with the fire in the middle. So you can, you, know, you can sit on both sides and it'll keep you warm. So down here, you've got a single fridge. This is a stainless steel one, brushed stainless steel. This matches the frame. Um, lots of room in there, a really nice sink. It's very well designed, it's very sexy. Um, you can get a double version of this. You can also get these, uh, a single and a double in the powder coated black version as well. So if you did go for the, the powder coated black frames, you could have a fridge to match that. Yeah. So one thing that we haven't got in here, but is actually a really good idea and a great feature that's available, um, are bar sections. So for each of these units, if you want to, and you can add this in on the, uh, on the configurator, um, you, you click on it and you can have a back to it with a bar section at the top. So, you know, I think the bar is probably about 300 mil wide. It'll sit like this, and then you've got it like that. So you can actually create an island or a bar. You can put bar stools on the other side. Um, so you can have your friends and family sat around while you're cooking. It's a really, really good idea. Um, they do also, it's worth mentioning, they do also offer matching bar stool ta bar tables um, and benches with um, with seats and bar stools as well. Everything is made out of the same high quality materials, the brushed stainless steel or the powder coated, and it has these same color matched um, composite worktops uh, with all the, the burnout branding on there as well. So, you know, if you've got a kitchen and you want a matching table and chair set, they've got that uh, on offer as well. So once you've got your design, you've done your design online on the configurator, um, you can save it and what will happen is you will get given a code. Um, once you've got that code, give us a ring or email us um, or just get in touch. I will leave all of the links, uh, all of our contact details down in the descriptions below. Once you have to get, send it to us, we will then be able to run through that with you, check it all for you, give you some costs for it and help you in any way that you need. Um, to, to make this kitchen a reality for you. Um, if you are on the configurator and you need any help, again, let us know. We will run through it with you. Happy to, we can do, uh, if you're not local, for example, we can do an online Zoom call and we can share our screen. We can design it for you and work through it and you get an instantaneous price. Once we've designed it, we can give you costs for it. Um, so. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If, you know, if you're in the market for a burnout, if you've been looking at it, I hope you found it useful. Um, if you want to see um, any of our other kitchens that we do, I'll leave a link up here. So go and 
see another video that we do. We don't just do these burnout kitchens. We uh, do our own kitchens. We build kitchens with block work, render. We do Napoleon and beef eater, lots and lots of different options. So if you, know, if you are interested in an outdoor kitchen, give us a bell and we'll do everything that we can to help you. So thanks very much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.